All right, guys, so I didn't get to finish my video as I was installing the pump. I got too carried away and I got excited because I did it the right way. So, at first I had a question. I didn't know what hose this was for, what this was for. That's uh, the heater hose. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, yeah, you have one bolt here. This one is for the power steering. And I still don't even know what that one's for. Over here, the alternator goes there that's there you got two bolts down there to hold the alternator up um, and then you put the fan on but make sure you tie in the the bolts uh, tightly and just connect your hoses and the last thing that I had an issue with before putting in the coolant was actually closing this little knob um, I put coolant in and yep you guessed it I had a leak so since I've done that, changed the gasket and the water pump, I haven't had any coolant leaks. See the coolant still in there. <laughs> yay, yay. Um, and uh, today's project is going to be the valve cover gaskets. As you see, I'm starting that. Got to clean up the engine first. I'm moving some of the spark plug wires. And we'll go from there. Thank you. So here we are. We've taken off the valve covers. And the gaskets, they're over there on the floor somewhere. Um, as you can see, I zip tied all these. That way I don't lose them and there's not a lot of wires all up in my uh, way. Same thing with this side, I've zip tied them together. Now, usually I would clean this, but I mean, this is not the final product. I just want to stop the leak for now. And I'm ordering a whole new uh, chrome dress up kit, is what they call it online. So, once I get that, then I'll make sure I'll get new. Um, bolts I guess whatever it's called tighteners um, but yeah this is it um, what else anything to add so just make sure you clean uh, clean it the surface where the gasket goes, the surface where the gasket goes and uh, just make sure you're careful back there there's really no way of messing it up as they say online <laughs> but yep any questions leave them in the comment box All right, so we just replaced the gaskets on the valve covers. It was super simple. It took like less than 10 minutes, to be honest, depending on how dirty your cover is. And then you want to wipe in, wipe the inside and the, you know, the outside. I'm not too worried about this little rust here. Um, I'm actually going to get new ones, like I mentioned before. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is the oil change and uh, change the air filter. I don't know when the last time the oil change was been done. So in the meantime, uh. I'm gonna do the seal, the weather seal strip. I'm gonna use this a 3M black super weather strip and gasket adhesive. I got it in Vance Auto for like I think 10, 12 bucks. This I got it at um, Classic uh, Industries, I believe. Um, this big box you see is uh, actually the carpet. I, mean, I don't know if you can see that pretty good. It's a black carpet I ordered for the interior of the. Impala, let's go see the Impala. Um, so the interior is green. Uh, the guy that had it before me took these seats out of a 1962 Impala. So I am in the search for 1963 seats. If not, then I just deal with these. So right now the carpet, um, there's really nothing on in there. I cleaned it out. We shot vac the floor. I ordered a uh, the the kit for the 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 floor and the trunk so i'm going to be painting everything black with that tar to make sure that rust doesn't uh, continue to grow if there is any i mean this car has very minimal rust as you can see uh here's the chrome for all the side i guess panels and stuff that is missing i ordered a little this off of uh, classic industries I um, mean, yeah, so this is a project. So like I said, I'm going to use this. Uh, what I did was I got some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and a little brush. There's a brush. And just kind of went through the whole perimeter of where the uh, weather strip is going to go. All around, dried it, waited, waited for it to dry. Um, so this thing is pretty tricky if you never put it on, on a vehicle before. So that's what it looks like. 
So I, what I first did was I actually put it on like this. If you could imagine it, but it actually goes like this. So this goes at the bottom of the of the metal. It's gonna go like this. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Um, and this is gonna go into. It's gonna fold over like that. And that little piece, this piece, needs to have like a, some kind of a suction. So you're gonna push it down like that. If I did this wrong, please let me know, but it, it will be too late anyways. But that's how I read the manual, and that's how it uh, looks like it's going to go. So you're going to keep it in line all the way around until you get to the end. And then you're going to just cut it. Oh, it's gonna, I'm going to start it here, actually. Not there. So it's going to start here in the middle. When it gets to the end, just cut it, and that's it. Easy day. I also have the... Uh, these bumps right here coming just like little what way i already have them i mean for the hood anyways that's it hey guys so i just got done doing the weather seal i'm sorry i'm just winded i can't even believe i did that right now all right so let's go back i use this 3m black weather gasket adhesive uh weather strip so it went all the way around so make sure you do small portions, it's small increments, don't just freaking lay down and then just think it's going to go. No, this thing dries pretty quick, it hardens pretty fast. Um, as you can see, the first couple tubes, or maybe because it was hot, oh shit, because it was hot, it um it started coming out oozing. So I mean, after, after you like half the tube done, it kind of stops flowing as fast, but it does flow pretty fast, so make sure you have something ready to catch the, the black tar I have hand I have problems with my hands so I use my fingers I mean I use my uh, I use the end of this brush to kind of click it in there but I mean there it is it's pretty self-explanatory everything looks good make sure you read the directions on your weather strip yours might be different than mine so um, like right here you see that needs to get put in there um, just get some more adhesive and just kind of glue it down there you can actually see where you know I messed up. I don't really like what that looks like. I mean, it looks kind of ugly to me, but I mean, there's really no other way for it to look. I mean, I'm not a professional. I'm doing this at home. Uh, by no means am I a mechanic. So, if I'm giving you wrong advice on anything that I've done or anything that I posted, just please let me know, and I'll re-edit the content or something, or just take it off because I don't need to be giving people bad advice. I'm just giving the advice that I know worked for my. 63 Impala, uh, 350 Chevy small block. Um, so there you go. There it is.